the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro are packed with a ton of nifty features, like check this out. If you open up the camera application and look to the top right hand corner, you'll see this file icon. And from there, you can select locked folder. So now when you take a picture of something top secret or private and go to your photo gallery, you will not see it there because you selected locked folder. Instead, you just have to go to libraries, utilities, and right over here, you will see locked folder. Of course, you'll need to put in your secret pin, but once you've done that, there you'll see all your top secret and private pictures you secretly hid away. Way. While in the camera app, if you click on the settings icon, you will see top shots. If you toggle that on, every time you go to take a picture, it'll actually record a little bit of the beginning and end of the picture so that when you go back to the gallery and swipe up, you can choose from any one of these frames it captured as your main picture. You can scrub through to find the perfect moment and when you're done, just go ahead, click save a copy. And if you click and hold down, you can watch the whole clip. Then under settings, if you click on sound and vibration, then scroll down to now playing right here you can toggle on identify songs playing nearby so now anytime music is playing around you right on the lock screen you'll see the artist as well as the title and you can play that song and speaking of playing of course i have some google play gift cards for some of my lucky subs so stick around till the end Okay, now check this out because this one is really cool. If you receive a call on the Google Pixel 6 while chatting, you can actually swipe down on the notification panel and access the control center, then toggle on this live caption. Now what happens is anything that is said on the phone call is automatically transcribed just like this. So here's another crazy thing. If I head into the voice recorder app and I enable transcribing, it'll transcribe everything I'm saying word for word just like this and and it doesn't matter how fast I speak or how slow I speak, it seems to transcribe everything pretty perfectly. So the bam, in my opinion, that's pretty cool. And once again, if you swipe down into that control center and toggle on the live caption, basically any application you open with media playing will straight away transcribe what is being said on the screen word for word. You can also move the caption box around. So if it's in the way, you can just swipe it up or to get rid of the captions completely, you can just click hold and swipe it down to the bottom to delete. This live caption feature is amazing. <laughs> So this is one of the coolest features on this beast of a phone. It's called Magic Erase and basically you can remove just about anything from the background of your pictures like magic. So if you've got the camera open, you're snapping some pics and you go to the gallery to check them out. If you notice anything in the background you're unhappy with, you can click that edit button, then scroll right to tools and right over here, you'll see magic erase. Now what you can do is simply circle any object in your picture and the bam, it disappears. You can even pinch to zoom in and really get accurate with what you want to remove. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. If there is something you definitely want to get rid of in your photo, just keep those shadows in mind because it is certainly not 100% perfect every time. So once you've tried your best to remove certain objects, go back over the shadows just like this and try to get rid of those too. But overall, this feature is pretty epic. So if you ever wanted to remove things from your pictures, well, now you know how. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this phone has some great gestures. Within settings, if you scroll down to system, right over here, you'll see gestures. And in there, you'll have a whole bunch of different ones to choose from and toggle on. So first up is this one in the camera. If you give it a little shake, just like this, you can actually toggle between the back and front facing camera. Then for one-handed mode, just swipe down over that little bar at the bottom and you're in. If you double click the power button at any time, it'll automatically open the camera straight away. And it doesn't matter what application you're in, it'll work every time. For this gesture, if you take your phone and place it face down, it'll automatically toggle on, do not disturb. Then to access recents, you just swipe up and hold and all your open applications will be right over there. If you wanna to go to the home screen, just swipe up quickly instead of holding. The navigation of this phone can be quite confusing. So if you wanna go back, just swipe from the left-hand side into the middle and you'll go back. You can also go back by using the right-hand side. So Google definitely stole this one from Apple and it's good old 
back tap. Regardless of who did this one first, it's still super nifty. And in the quick tap settings, you've got quite a couple of options to choose from. For example, you can decide to open any application. There's also this option you can choose to toggle on, which is require stronger taps so that you don't get any accidental taps when handling your phone. So once all of that is done and set up in future, if you want to quickly open an app or take a screenshot, you know what to do. So I don't know about you guys, but I find this super nifty. Now we've got to talk about the super cool motion mode within the camera app. Once in the mode, you'll see both these options called action pan and long exposure. These are basically two different motion modes you can choose from depending on what type of picture you're trying to capture, like a creative blurry background or long exposure shot. So this is really cool because no matter where you take your picture, it really accentuates that motion background for a great looking picture. So in other words, if I take a picture in motion, it'll come up looking a little something like this. Behind me, you'll notice this epic blur. However, I will be perfectly in focus and crispy sharp. At the bottom, you can even see the before and after of the effect. And keep in mind, on top of all of that, there are a whole bunch of different editing features to choose from. Here are just some examples I took of this mode, and it definitely works the best when you have a super fast moving background. And for the long exposure, you also get some seriously amazing results. Now I know most people love to customize the look of their phone and on the Pixel 6, if you click and hold down, then access wallpapers and styles, there you'll see an option that says themed icons. And what this does is it changes the color and theme of all your icons to match your background wallpaper. You can choose from a couple different theme colors it has automatically picked up in your background. And honestly, it looks so dang cool, more organized and themed to the max. So something that's actually really been blowing my mind lately is how good smartphones are getting at nighttime photography. But with this phone, it kind of takes that to the next level with astrophotography. That's right guys, with this phone and that astrophotography mode, you can take some incredible pictures of the night sky. It is definitely suggested that you use a tripod when in this mode, but once you set up and good to go, you click the shutter button and it'll give you a countdown of how long you need to wait before just captured an amazing picture of the night sky. You also have the option to go into more camera settings and in here, under advanced, you can toggle on enable time-lapse astrophotography. And what this does is basically captures a mini clip of the long exposure astrophotography pic you just took. <laughs> Now here's another excellent tip you definitely need to remember and that is if you swipe up into recents you'll see this little option that says select and if you tap on that it'll automatically select all the text in that application just like this and then you can go ahead copy share or even search that text. Then I don't know about you guys but there definitely are some times that I need a super long screenshot. So on the Pixel 6, if you take a screenshot, you'll see this capture more option. And then what you can do is just move this line down to capture a longer screenshot. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and edit it even further with the pen tool, text or cropping. This long screenshot does only work on certain applications, so just keep that in mind. But overall, this is a banging feature. Here's a quick tip, if you set up quick phrases under settings and you receive a phone call or an alarm goes off, you can just say, stop, instead of always having to say, hey, you know who. There is also an extreme battery saver mode that'll give you some extra juice when you're in a pinch. All you do is toggle on battery saver mode and then you'll receive this notification that asks to turn on extreme battery saver. Once that is on, it'll actually pause the majority of your unused apps and of course toggle the entire phone and system over to dark mode. If however you find yourself with plenty of battery power, then you can actually share some of that with a friend. In the control center, just toggle on battery battery saver, then go ahead and place your phone face down and now you can just charge some buds or even give your friend's phone some extra life. So guys, I'm giving away some Google Play gift cards to some of my lucky subscribers and with these you can download games, movies, music, apps and so much more. So you know the drill, try out some of these codes. Yeah.
But if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!